Over 100 solar companies have gone bankrupt in the last year. Contractor markups are 200 to 300 percent. If you're thinking about installing a solar and storage system for your home and you want to avoid high prices and poor customer service, then this video is for you. I'm going to be teaching you the new way to install solar, where you can take control of the project directly and save thousands of dollars compared to hiring a solar contractor. All right, now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new way to install solar, where essentially you as the system owner serve as the project manager. Now, what's the, what's the problem with just hiring a traditional solar contractor? Well, the first problem is the super high markup. Um, I can't tell you how many homeowners I've spoken to that have been shopping for solar online. Maybe they received a couple of quotes from solar contractors only to find out that the prices they're being quoted are 200% or 300% higher than what the raw material cost is if they just bought the materials themselves. Now look guys, I'm not saying that the contractors are being greedy here or trying to rip anybody off. I understand why the contractors have to charge such a high markup. You see, when you're a commercial contractor, you're required to carry a number of licenses and insurance, uh, as well as manage and, and maintain significant overhead. So for example, you have your facility overhead. You have your commercial vehicle fleet maintenance cost and overhead. Uh, and of course you have your insurance overhead as well. Now when, when you're talking about a solar installation company, insurance companies consider this one of the highest risk jobs out there. I mean, if you think about it, you've got employees that are going up and down a ladder carrying solar panels. They're operating or they're, they're working on a rooftop and they're doing high voltage wiring on that rooftop. So from a workers' compensation insurance perspective, it's one of the highest risk categories. And I remember when I was a solar contractor, that workers' comp insurance was one of our uh, most expensive line items on the budget. Uh, but of course you have administrative staff, you have other software and technology expenses. And so ultimately all of those business expenses get passed on to the customer uh, in the form of a higher installation price. Now, of course, the other issue with hiring a contractor is the high failure rate. We've already reported in previous videos that over 100 solar companies have gone bankrupt in the past year. Uh, and so if you're looking for a full service installation, even if you do everything right as a consumer, you do all your research, I'd say you've got about a 50-50 chance of that contractor actually staying in business for the entire 25 years of the warranty term. And then of course, the other issue is just questionable customer service. When I go on and I look at online reviews from solar companies, including some of the biggest solar companies in the country, we see a number of reports about nobody answers the phone or it takes several months to get somebody out to take a look at my system to make repairs. And so by managing the project yourself, you don't have to deal with all of this. By the way, if you got a solar system installed and they won't answer the phone or the company's already gone out of business, leave a comment below, we'd like to hear from you. Okay, now the other approach you could do is a pure DIY install, a do-it-yourself install where you piece together the individual components and then put the solar system together. Uh, and when I first started in solar about 10, 13 years ago, a lot of that type of project is what I was doing. We, we were sourcing individual components, inverters, charge controllers, switches, all from different manufacturers. And then we had to sort of put the system together and we were really more of a systems integrator at that point than just a pure contractor, right? You had to get all these different components working together to accomplish the same goal. And so the problem here is if you really don't know what you're doing, it's very easy to get things wrong, or you might just find yourself overwhelmed with all the different options that are out there. So a pure DIY approach is very, very easy to make mistakes, and you have questionable support after the install, you might be sourcing components from different vendors. They may or may not be available to actually walk you through the full installation of your system to make sure that everything is up and running properly. So what we've seen emerging in the last 12 to 18 months is new all-in-one systems where you as the system owner can purchase the equipment directly, save thousands on the install cost, and you can actually perform a majority of the installation yourself. And that's a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, Blue Eddy, and the EP800 solar and energy storage system. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy storage system that you can install by yourself and save thousands of dollars compared to hiring a contractor, then you need to take a look at the new Blue Eddy EP800. The EP800 is a modular, stackable, all-in-one solar and battery backup solution incorporating a solar inverter, MPPT charge controllers, LFP battery cells, and intelligent battery management system. 
The major components stack together like blocks and all the necessary cables are pre-cut and color-coded to enable super fast installation. The owner can perform 90% of the installation himself, only hiring a qualified electrician to make the final connection to the electrical panel. So if you're serious about becoming energy independent and you wanna save thousands compared to hiring a full service solar company, then click the link in the description below. We have a special discount for you as well as other helpful resources to guide you through the entire process of going solar. Thank you, Blue Eddy, for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video. Now, again, the thing I like about the, this new type of solar system is you as the owner can purchase the equipment directly. In fact, we should have a link below if you'd like to get a small discount, uh, if you'd like to purchase the EP800 system. Uh, but you can purchase the equipment directly, so you don't have to worry about paying a markup on the equipment. Um, and it's designed in such a way that it's pretty much foolproof. You know, you can stack up the individual battery storage units and inverter units, and all of the cables that you need to connect the system are color-coded and pre-cut, so it's very difficult to, to connect things uh, in an unsafe or in an incorrect manner. Then, you can make limited use of a roofer or an electrician to make the final electrical connection for you. But instead of hiring a solar company to do the entire project for you, you're essentially just using that licensed electrician to make the final high voltage connection so you can connect that system to your home's electrical system. Now, some of these systems can be installed in a self-consumption mode only, meaning where you're, you're only consuming solar and battery power within the home. In that case, you don't necessarily even have to go through a net metering or a solar buyback application process with your power company. Um, or some of them are grid interactive. So if you wanna take advantage of net metering to help offset or eliminate your electric bill, you can do that as well. Now, generally speaking, if you're gonna have your system interface with the electric grid, you are going to have to pull permits and you are going to have the system inspected. And I would recommend that you do that anyway, guys. I know that, you know, technically, if you were just wiring this up for off-grid or backup purposes, you don't necessarily have to pull permits, but I would recommend that you, you do pull permits and that you do have the, the local AHJ inspect the installation. That way, if there was any issue down the road where maybe there was you had to make a, a claim on your homeowner's insurance, they couldn't say that, oh, you, you modified the home's electrical system without permission or without it being inspected, uh, and therefore we're not gonna honor your insurance claim. Now, I had a chance to install one of these systems at my partner Dan's house in Central Virginia, and we're gonna show you some of the footage from the installation there so you can see just how easy it was to install the solar and inverter system, and then finally how we tied it in into the house, and in his case, provided a whole house backup. All right, so this has been a discussion on the new way to install solar. If you're so inclined, and again, this is really for people that are gonna have some basic construction experience as well as some basic electrical experience, uh, but if you're so inclined, if you wanna take control of your solar installation, buy all of your equipment directly, save thousands of dollars compared to a full service contractor install, uh, and then of course, be responsible for your own maintenance going forward. So this is the new way to install solar. I call it semi-DIY, kind of like that, that old show on Food Network, semi-homemade. This is semi-DIY. You're doing the majority of the work yourself, only bringing in a qualified roofer or electrician where needed to help you out. Well, folks, if you like the information in this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Uh, and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your homepage and on your feed, and you can stay up to date with us. 
Now, if you're interested in doing a, a semi-DIY solar installation, uh, perhaps using a system like the EP800, uh, there'll be links in the description below where you can purchase the equipment. And we also have resources down there for folks if you'd like us to guide you step-by-step step through that process of going solar, whether it's how to deal with getting permits, how to deal with scheduling inspections, or how to deal with filing the paperwork with your power company. We wanna make sure we have that information available for you down there. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner and, and you would just prefer to have a, a full professional install where the contractor manages everything for you and they provide you with a warranty, uh, then as always, you know, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here. It'll, it'll take you to our website where you can set up a quick call with a solar expert or just use the free online quote tool so you can see how much solar and storage costs in your area. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video, folks. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.